Thing you said really early in this talk that I wanted to hit on. Um, you said three words that kind of most people don't usually put together: uh, yep. usability conversion analysis. That sounds yep. like a lot of technical talk, but can you just break that down for us real quick, just so you can yep. make it clear to the audience? Yeah, let me let me do that real quick. Um, when I'm doing that, what I'm looking here for is. And Todd, confirm that you can see my screen here. Oh, I see it. Yep, we're good. Okay, great. So with usability conversion analysis, one of the things that I want to be able to do is um, look to see how are people engaging with my website. And so where a lot of people will say, yeah, I've seen heat mapping technology before. What we want to be able to do is be in a scenario here where you have heat mapping technology, but I want to be able to see where people's eye movements and mouse movements are going. And I hear a lot of the time, well, how do you know their eye movements? I'm like 90% of the time, their eye all movements follow their mouse. Yep. You know what I mean? So with these guys, they assumed that everyone was going to the orthopedic specialties page. Turns out that they were going to the services page. They spent a ton of money on these ambassador videos. Yep. And it turns out that, you know, you see no heat on that button. Gotcha. Other things we do is we're looking to figure out, are they scrolling? What is the white hot part of the website? And then from this standpoint, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to say, hey, you know what? If I have to schedule um, to make an appointment, I want to make sure that it's in the white hot part of the website. Gotcha. Now, this one's close, but yeah. about 15% of the audience isn't scrolling down far enough. Gotcha. Okay. Other things we're going to do is, is that a video is important. Only when people were looking at this website, I mean, keep in mind that it, this website looks drastically different now, but only 45% of the audience was even scrolling down far enough doing the same testing in mobile. Yep. I'm going to look at every click over a variety of different filters, such as new and returning visitors, things like that. Search, uh, search engine, what time of day, how long did it take them to click? I'm going to look at everything from did they convert? What are the other pages that lead to the conversion paths? Um, this shows in real time, the mouse movement on the screen to make sure I know what's confusing and what's not. I'm going to figure out what pages are converting and what attribution pages need to be added. I can literally find out when people fill out a form, where they, um, where did they get spooked and leave early? And then from a video perspective, I can find out, are my videos too long? Where are people abandoning the video? And then from there, I can allow them to opt in. Yep. And then this allows me, it's a very unique thing is, is that I'm able to find out, Hey, you know what? Um, this is by name, Oliver and Tim, Oliver watched 98% of the video and Tim only watched 59%. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to drip market to Tim very differently. All right. So, ba so basically to summar summarize that portion of it, like usability conversion analysis is basically a larger picture for how we analyze a website to see how people are using it. And then yep. to see how leads are basically being converted through the site. That's, that's a thousand okay. percent correct. Now, nice. I mean, I think one of the things you want to do is, is that most people create a site and they set it and they forget it. And right. the happiest day of their life was the day they launched it. Okay. But if you figure that when you launch a website, that's the beginning of the journey and not the end right. of the journey, yep. that's when it becomes real.